Oh, oh, I hear somebody. There they are. Ooh, there's one, two, three. There we go. There is. Oh, got to do a double shot on that. Uh oh, uh oh, more double shots. There we go. Spam them enough and you will survive. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Happy Bacon Triple Seven, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, we are pulling out the Rakiti. I'm not, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. It's essentially the, well, I think it's automatic rocket launcher. Essentially, it's the uh, kind of copy paste from the Swedish version. This one, it's wheeled. The German one, I just unlocked it. It's tracked. So the good thing about it being tracked is that you can kind of like sneak around the little areas more better. Whereas like the wheels, you kind of have to move and whatever. If we look at the ammo, it's a kilogram of explosive mass. Penetrates a good amount, and it's funny, these have surprisingly no drop to it. So, when you're fighting somebody, come here, mouse, you can just go. But of course, with it being a small tank destroyer, it's probably going to get killed by close air support, especially if I get a lot of kills with this. So, I am going to take out the 262 with the bombs, because... It's awesome. But with that being said, let's take out this automatic rocket launcher and let's see what it can do. I uh, will say before anything, anybody who's planning to take out a vehicle like this, make sure you set up your keybinds because it's got the, I think if you shoot with normal mouse button, yeah, it's the left barrel. In order to do the second barrel, you need the, I think the alternate cannon firing. I don't know, it's, it's in the keybinds. I got mine set up on my mouse. So I can do double clicks or I can fire them both at the same time, which is hilarious. Oh, our little buddy's having a little trouble over here. I think there's some type of anti-air right there. Boom, there we go. Yep, that's that's a kilogram of explosive mass for you. We saved him and you can tell the, the drop is like non-existent. So we got one, that's cool. This thing's got 10 degrees of gun depression so we can actually like crest over that hill in a Hopefully, you know, the knock on what? Oh, you know, I, ah, who needs the hill, right? I, I'm, I'm going to go that way. So I know I got to go to Alpha, but I, part of me knows I got to secure this flank, but I know that there's somebody, there is going to be somebody up here. We already have a leopard up here, so oh, get off the rock. Hopefully we can just tuck in behind this hill. And then, yeah, I mean, that's one just a little bit further, so that's pretty good. They're they're taking Alpha, of course, and there's a lot of people up here. There's probably some people camping, but you know what? I got a lot of ammo. Oh, enemy spotted. What are you, sir? You are... Oh, okay. If we can get the jump on this guy, I know he has to stop to shoot. There we go. Come on. Why? Okay, I was trying to kick it down because we don't have the gun depression. Oh, there we go. God, I love when that works. You just roll up, you stop suddenly, you kick the barrel down, and just yeet. Uh oh, our leopard is getting shot up really badly right there. Oh my gosh. I think he might be fine. The M163, I'm hoping he's distracted enough that we can push up. Oh, hello. There's a guy right there. M163, can we get on over in time? There we go, double kill. Don't worry, Leopard, I'm coming for you. We, go. Oh, I think he's gonna be able to survive. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick up this hill. Okay, he's getting hit by, I think that was another, I think it was the opposite version of this tank. But, oh, you know where we're going. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, right in the pocket too? Yeah. Yes. Somebody over there, I hear, ooh. Okay, I gotta go for him, I gotta go for him. Oh God, did he hear me? Oh shit, he heard me. Oh God, he's, oh, he's got good headphones too. Oh, oh, I'm screwed. I don't even know who that is. That's, okay, that's, I think that's an M60 or an M48. I don't, I'll be honest, when it comes to the patents, I'm, I'm, I'm a dumbass when it comes to the eye. I, I, I just see something like that, I'm like, hey, that looks like a patent, but we actually might be able to run away. Run, go, make the jump, escape. There we go. This guy, he's probably going to charge down at us. Ooh, he got shot by somebody. So, I'm hoping he, oh, he, okay. Yeah, his cannon barrel was not destroyed. And, nice. You're taking Alpha. 
I don't know where exactly. Okay, that was our leopard. I know there's like an AMX 30. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking about going to the left side. That way they're focused hopefully more on that leopard. But you know, I mean, when in Rome, might as well. Uh oh, oh God. Is that the siren? Yep, that's a siren. Who got it? Congratulations to that guy. Damn, he actually got the nuke. Oh yeah, just because there's a nuke coming in does not mean I'm gonna stop fighting though. There is, I believe, the patent that was right here. Let's see if we can just roll on over. Come on, elevation, kick it down. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, my eyes. So one of the many things I really like about this tank is it's low profile because you can tell you can really hide behind the hills and just poke over barely with this cannon. Sure, you can do that with, well, pretty much every tank in the game. But this one did pretty well. The only problem is if you get hit, you happen to have like 18 shells right there to get hit and you go up like a firework. What I'm getting at here is we're at Tunisia and we're gonna go in the typical sniping spot. I'm hoping to get some long range kills with this thing. Because like I said, it's, it's mind boggling how these things have no drop. It's, I mean, look, out to there is 1200. It's just like, what what is propelling these rockets? Oh, case in point, let's see if we can shoot down a chopper. There we go. Get him. Oh no, our door wedge is getting pretty toasty. Uh, I would try to pull them back if I could. Can they shoot me? Ooh, they actually might be able to shoot me. Door wedge, I'm doing this for you, buddy. Don't let me die. I should be okay to push up, right? I mean, everybody I think is behind cover. Yeah, I should be fine. I got two door wedges protect me. You guys won't let me down, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I believe in them. Apparently you can go over there. I did not know that. We, uh, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go the old school way. We're just going to roll straight down this water and hopefully we'll be able to flank a lot of these people. And I'm hoping to get around, just punch this flank and hopefully just sprinkle some of these grenades right down the middle because that'll be pretty cool. So the reason why I'm checking the penetration because I saw the kill feed, it's, there was a T32E1, which is an absolute unit to try to go through. But I, ha I should have plenty of penetration to go through that guy. And that's gonna be the one tank where I'm probably just gonna just spam the, the firing buttons as much as possible, just, just sling it. I do the same thing with mouses, I'm sorry, but it's just the way to take mouse. Plus, it's funny. Okay, what are the chances I can just whip out and just sling them all? Let's see. Oh my. The enemies lost, like, all their vehicles. Why are y'all still going down this way? Uh, oh no. Oh, oh, he missed. He missed. Oh, 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 spam, 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 spam. A cannon barrel. Huzzah. Okay, so I could have aimed a little bit better. I'll admit that. But we got the cannon barrel. That's pretty solid. We might be able to get a little bit more. I feel like we should be. Yeah, there we go. I got to do this aim. Don't be me. Don't be me. Aim your shots. Oh, look. It's a map with a lot of trees and fences. Well, I mean, we, we can make it work. We can always make it work because we should have enough of ammo to go through pretty much anything. I think the key here is just to follow some type of team member. Hopefully they'll clear the way for us. Like that anti-air that's being surprisingly brave rolling up that far. Honestly, go get him, guy. Oh, this is a big street and I got no cover. Is this gonna be where I actually get my first death? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's the next road. It's always the second road the, that's unexpected. Oh, there has to be people down here. Oh, there has to be somebody down here. Ooh, there is definitely going to be somebody rolling down these streets, though. So how can I prepare for that? I could probably set up right here. Uh, yeah, I hate how I try to get into a good position and my whole team dies. It's like, come on, people. Live. Oh, 
Oh, I hear somebody. There they are. Ooh, there's one, two, three. There we go. There is... Oh, God, do a double shot on that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, more double shots. There we go. Spam them enough and you will survive. There we go. Double kill, triple kill. Ooh, okay, how much ammo did we... Oh, I am all out of ammo. Okay, so... You can see the reload takes a good amount of time. But, to be fair, all you need is one good shot with this thing. And you should kill them. Is that gonna load the left one? Okay, so we got two on the left, three on the right. Okay. So, is there any... But I hate... I hate peeking around the corner like that. I'll just roll over there like a man. Ooh, there is some... Oh! Okay, we've got a helicopter up, so that means there's a chance that there's an enemy helicopter up. What battle rating is this plane? Uh, 7.0. Okay, so we might have to fight some slightly higher battle rating aircraft, but it shouldn't be that much of an issue. I'm just gonna scuttle along the ground. If I scuttle the ground... I think I should be safe. I'm looking for, I believe it was an MI-24, but I'm completely blind when it comes to looking for aircraft. Still looking, I can't see him. Ah, I see the plane right there. Maybe I can make it a slight detour and try to take out that plane. I don't know which one that is. Oh, should I? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea to waste all my energy. I think that's a MiG-15 or something like that. I could always continue to look for the uh, helicopter after that. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, super far, super far. Yeah, these, uh, the 262's cannons, if you're not aware, they're kind of like grenade launchers. Their, uh, their velocity leaves a lot to be desired. I'll just put it at that. Surprisingly, though, I didn't completely stall out. I hear somebody around me, so I'm probably going to get hunted down by his buddy. Yeah, I'm committed. I'm committed at this point. Might as well pick up some speed and then try to do another loop. He might uh, reverse on me. Let's see if I can get him right there. Oh, the velocity. Wow. You know, I'm used to using the American 20, so I thought I... Thought I overlet on that and I wasn't even close to on on hitting him it's just wow okay let's see if those uh, how okay so if it's not apparent I'm not the best at uh, using the velocity well do I have to aim like all the way out out here okay I uh no <laughs> no not like this please Please, oh, if I, uh, yeah, this is something, um, yeah, don't wait till he's coming straight at me, uh, well, the ground helped me, uh, okay, water under the bridge, guys, water under the bridge, uh, yeah, I, you know, you know how they have velocities for, uh, tank cannons in the game. I, if anybody uh, knows the velocity of these cannons compared to like, I don't know, the American 20s, it would be uh, pretty interesting to hear about it because that's something I've always wondered about because it's, it just shocks me of how low velocity these things have. And I know I probably sound like a broken record, but it's, it's just surprising. It's, I open fire at what I believe is like completely undershooting and even that's or overshooting whatever but even that's not even close to hit him it's like are is the pilot throwing these shells out of the cockpit with his hand like is he using a slingshot to fire these like what the hell but anyways we actually have a line of tanks right here going to drop right there right there can we get some kills we got one kill but these are only 250s and of course now everybody's trying to shoot at me Back to the base, please. Of Unfortunately, we couldn't shoot down the helicopter yeah. or the plane, but, you know, hey, we live. We live to fight another day. Well, it wouldn't be a 262 uh, gameplay type of video without showcasing the one and only true way to land a 262, and that's to completely forget about the fact you got landing gear. Go slow down a little bit more, and let's hope that I don't explode on impact. 
Come on, engines. Just kiss the ground. Just kiss it. Just kiss it just a tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, who needs land gear? Yeah, what a fantastic vehicle. I, I'd even touch on the hull armor. It's okay. It's not that much, right? It's only 30 millimeters. But I think that's actually more than the uh, Swedish one. Yeah, that's way, way more. See, the problem with this one is... As so okay, yeah. Shield your eyes from the bushes. Yes, yes, I get it. I know bush. But the armor on this, it's 10 millimeters, right? So a 50 cal can go through it, no problem. The German one is 30 millimeters. And heck, e even on the side, it's 15 so, like, when we were fighting that T-32 and all those other, other American tanks where they're shooting their machine guns, you can survive. You can actually attack. Now, if they were smart enough to go for the gun and go through that and get the ammo, that's a way to kill a tank. That would suck. But all in all, I mean, it's a fantastic tank. I will say the mobility I thought would be a lot better. It says max top speed of 55, but this engine... It doesn't have any torque. You can almost never reach the top speed, but it doesn't hold it back. I'm, it's still a fantastic vehicle. But the elephant in the room, let's talk about the 262. So these 30s, I was surprised that I, was a, I wasn't able to hit them at all. It doesn't tell you the velocity at all, but I know, I know the 108s have one of, if not the slowest velocities in the game. And the problem is, I'm telling you guys, it's like, a plane's flying there, and I aim, like, right there, and I'm like, okay, that's excessive. Surely I'm going to hit him. And it completely misses. It's like, <laughs> like I said, like, is this guy just throwing the shells out the, out the cockpit? Like, I don't understand. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a very safe, spooky season. I'm thinking about doing a spooky video, kind of, you know, getting that spooky little tiny vibe. Really looking forward to it, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.